Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ohema Bonsu. But if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back to watch this video. Okay, so today I am partnering with Adenike and she is on YouTube and Instagram as Nike's Canvas and we are doing a collaborated look. So she got a few of the Ankara head wraps from me and we decided to do a makeup look inspired by the head wraps that we chose. Okay, so I chose this head wrap. The tree name for this head wrap is, if I'm not mistaken, the English proverb translation of the head wrap I have on is, if a single tree braces the wind, it breaks, okay? And to me, I feel like the only thing that you get from that proverb is that unity is power, okay? So I decided on my website to call this unity, but I'm gonna use I think I'm gonna use a tree a tree word for unity to uh, to describe this on my website. So yeah, you should definitely go out to my website and check out the head wraps. They are for the low low because my mom insists on it, and they're cut very differently from regular head wraps that you get with the square tips. My tips are different, and the way that I cut them, they lay really really flat no matter which direction you put them in. Okay, so yeah. I can, I'm actually going to put up a video on how I tie my head wraps, but for today, we're just going to focus on the eyes. Okay guys, let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to go ahead and start with my brows. I am using my Benai Nutmeg setting powder and I'm using that to set my brows a little bit. And then I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Brow MVP in the shade Soft Black like you guys voted. And I am putting that on the lower part of my brows i'm just lining it up so that i can clean it up and proceed with my eyeshadow this way it would be easier for me to finish my brows after i finish my face makeup okay so i'm using the ColourPop concealer in the shade dd56 and i'm using that to line and clean up the bottom of the brow all this just makes it easier for me to fill in my brows after i finish my skin routine I'm going in with my NYX Proof It Eyeshadow Primer. I love this primer. It's readily available and it works amazingly on my oily eyelids. And I also like blending it in with my finger. Today we're using Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina Volume 1 Palette. <laughs> you guys, this is a purely pressed pigment palette. The, the shades in here are crazy. It is beautiful. It's a very different shape from... The regular Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. So I'm going in with the Anastasia eyeshadow primer and it's essentially an eyeshadow base. I apply that on my eyelids and blend it in. I will put all the brushes I use down below in the description box. Then I'm going in with the shade E4. E4 is a neon orange shade and it is pigmented, okay? It is crazy. Like I was so shocked at how easily and buttery and smooth the pigments were in the palette and how easily they applied and showed out on my eyelids like this is pure color okay so i went ahead and tapped that shade into the base and then i blended out the edges a little bit and i went back in with the shade e5 and i used e5 to blend out the edges of e4 and I just kept blending out until I felt like I had the perfect amount of the transition that I was looking for. And I just lightly blended up to cover up the white on my brows or the white towards my brows. So I went back in with E4 and I wanted to intensify the shade on my eyelids and also to blend it into the transition shade that I put down. Essentially, it's just a back and forth blending until you feel like you have enough and you know, then you can move on to the next step. But I just kept blending back and forth until I felt like I had enough, okay? So then I went in with that orange shade and that's E2. I use E2 to go into the middle because I feel like E2 match, or E2 blended with E4 matched the orange in my head wrap a lot more than just e4 by itself and do you see how very pigmented e2 shows up on top of e4 even though it's like, like it was like a red base shade with another red base shade and it still shows up 
really super duper pigment so i'm going in with c5 and i use c5 to blend out the edges again and i also blend it all the way up to my brows i'm just using that to lighten up the edges of my transition shade so it it transitions a lot better and then i went in with my benign nutmeg powder to blend into the white that's directly below my brows so i'm taking dose of colors chocolate wasted because at that time i forgot i had embellished so i took dose of colors chocolate wasted and i used that to line my eyes to i guess mimic the brown shades that's in my head wrap i don't want to use a black shade so i just used the brown because it was more prominent in there and i use that to go ahead and line my eyes and i use another sigma brush i will try to put all the brushes i use down below in the description box for you after i finished lining my eyes i went ahead and cleaned up the line and then i took my juvia's place concealer in the shade number five and i cleaned directly below where my eyeliner is and dragged it down that way whenever i applied my, my complexion product i wouldn't need to go too close to my eyeliner but in this video we use anastasia beverly hills foundations and setting powders and i also have a video specifically on the foundation setting powders and we did a wear test and i will put a link to that directly below or it is the very next video or the very so it's the video before this one if you want you can click on that after this or i'll put a link i went in with d4 and i applied d4 directly on my lower lids and i blended it out very very tightly i didn't blow it out i just blended it out very very tightly so after i laid down my eyeshadow my lower eyelid eyeshadow i went ahead and brushed away the setting powder i put to catch any fallout and i'm using the la girl shock wave eyeliner pencils and i'll put the exact shade somewhere on the screen and i use that to line my waterline and i went back into e4 and i use e4 to contrast the eyeliner look so that it looks very very crisp and apparent and contrasted now i'm going in to fill in my brows with the fenty beauty brow mvp in the shade soft black okay but do you see how my brow looks after having done the cleanup the first time it's so much easier and it looks so much better when i do it that way i'm going in with the milk makeup kush fiber brow and i'm using that to brush up my brow hairs it would help my brow hair it helps my brow hairs appear thicker and also helps them stay up in place and i really like it because you know milk makeup so I'm going in with the Bretman Rock X Morphe Baby in Paradise Highlighter Palette. And I'm taking that deep brown shade. I'm taking that deep brown shade and I'm using that to highlight my face. I've been using this palette a lot lately. I went in with that white shade. You guys, this white is the whitest, most pigmented white in a palette I have ever seen. Like it applies super duper white it doesn't change shades on you it doesn't transfer into places you don't want it to go it's not patchy it's the whitest white i have ever 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 seen in a palette i apply that in my inner corner to mimic the whites in the head wrap so after that i went in so after that i'm going in with my mascara i applied mascara on my upper eyelashes and my lower lashes and then I went in and applied some Bonsu Beauty lashes. These lashes will be launching, I want to say this month. So I will be launching these lashes really, really soon. A new packaging and everything. But I've been trying them out forever. And you guys actually really love this lashes. So thank you so much for choosing this lash to be the next one to launch. It's dramatic, you guys. It's a dramatic lash. And I'm going ahead and lining my lips, which I don't know why, because I went in with my ColourPop Embellish. And Embellish is a limited 
well it was a limited quantity limited limited edition shade that was made um from ColourPop, and it's since been discontinued but i got two of them so you're gonna be seeing me wearing embellish for a while to come because uh it's like a beautiful shade and i ha i don't think i have found a brown that's that deep to match me see i forgot i had embellish because i would have used embellish as my eyeliner for my look and that would have been more apparent so if you're recreating this look use a deeper brown shade to line your eyes but i completely forgot i had embellish okay so you guys yeah this is my finished look i absolutely absolutely love this pressed pigment palette i think i'm going to use it a lot this coming halloween season it is very pigmented it stays onto the anastasia base very very well it is very very creamy and it's very easy for you to dig into the palette so just be careful when you're using it thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys so much and i will see you guys in my next video bye